Hello, I'm Dave, and I'm uh, get my footing uh, down. It's a little slippery here. I'm here to talk about um, maybe you know, maybe you don't. Uh, I'm here to talk about Dave's Picks 2020 subscriptions. I love this time of year. Here we are in. Uh, well, I'm filming this or shooting this video. I'm not filming it. Shooting this video on October 1st. Beautiful day. I love October. It's my I don't know if it's my favorite month, but I do love it, um, and I do love it on a on a work basis too because I love the announcement for the Dave's Picks subscriptions for the next year. We're going into our ninth year of the Dave's Picks series, which I mean I can't I mean I do believe it, but uh, and there's a lot more to come. Certainly nowhere near the end, maybe the quarter life of the series. I don't know, but uh, we've got a lot of really good music to come. And so, okay, if you're watching this, I would recommend maybe putting it on pause and going and um, subscribing if you want. Um, if you don't, that's okay too. But the nice thing about the subscriptions, which we'll get into a lot of things in a bit, but the first thing I'd like to do is thank you for subscribing to the 2019 uh, subscriptions, which right now we've got the uh, third one, fourth one of the year out, uh, number 32. Um, yeah, it's been a really, I think, a phenomenal year for the Dave's Picks uh, series. And I, I kind of look back on every year and say, okay, did we do our four of the year uh, with good variety? Great shows, of course. That's what we always aim for, good variety. Um, and I think this year we really did. We kind of hit a little bit of everything, which I really love. Um, so I do want to say thank you for subscribing. You know, we started this series in 2012. We, uh, we announced it in, in mid to late 2011. And I think there was a lot of interest then, but now we've increased the units that we make uh, almost double. I think we started with 12,000 and we're now up to 22,000. We're going with 22,000 in 2020. Um, and that's because you've spoken and we've listened, which is to say we don't want people to be disappointed. So we want to make sure there are enough for everybody who's interested. Uh, so what we do is we put them on sale now as subscriptions where you order it and you pay one price and you get all four of the Dave's Picks. You don't have to worry about ordering them. You don't have to worry about them going on sale. They just arrive every three months at your mailbox or doorstep or post office box or however you get your mail delivered. I don't know. Um, so uh, you get that, but you also get the bonus disc that comes with the second one of the year, which in this case will be number 34. We're just putting the finishing touches on that. So in a little bit, uh, maybe in a couple months, we'll have news on number 34, the second one of 2020. But uh, we do love it. So what we've done in, in 2019, again, like I say, I, I like to look back on the previous year and I love this year. I love the 2019 uh, as, I mean, as much as I've ever loved any of the years we've done. I really do. I think that the variety is quite perfect. It's, not, it's never going to be absolutely perfect uh, for everybody, but I do feel that we hit every distinct era, not every distinct era, we hit most of the distinct eras in Grateful Dead history, which we'll get into in a sec. Um, I think the bonus disc was really wonderful. So I think we really, um, I think we nailed a lot of things with this this year. And looking at what we have planned for 2020, we already got the first one picked, uh, number 33, which we'll mention in a minute. Uh, and then 34, we're just about done. We just need Jeffrey Norman to uh, check out the tapes, which is more of a formality. By the time we get to that point, we're pretty sure that the master reels are in very good shape or the master cassettes or dats or whatever we're using as our source. Uh, but we'll get to that um, in a couple months. But, uh, based on what we're looking at and then even uh, looking way ahead to number 35 and even 36, I think it is going to be an exceptionally exciting year in the Grateful Dead archival release year. I know certainly we've got some box set ideas plus some other cool things going for 2020. So I do think uh, it's going to be a fun year. Um, I think every year, but this year was phenomenal. I, I really uh, feel that with the giant stadium box, um, ready or not, the, uh, the late era, the newer songs, nine of them, from 92 to 95. The four Dave's picks, uh, uh, the, the Fillmore West release that we put out on vinyl, um, Aox and Moxoa, 50th anniversary. We did a lot of really cool projects this year, I think. Um, the band put out some wonderful music over the years. I mean, both in terms of their studio put, their live recordings, and then the live shows that they fortunately had uh, a sound crew that were recording. So in 2019, if you look at the eras we did, the uh, first one of the year was the first show of 1977. Uh, we'll talk about that in a minute because there's some relevance to what we're doing in 2020 with that show. Uh, but that was the show with Tear Up and Station and Estimated Profit and all those, you know, all that incredible music from uh, uh, 226, 77. 
And uh, so we kind of hit that Keith and Donna era with Mickey and Billy, the late 70s. Keith and Donna era of Grateful Dead kind of covers that 76 to 78 spin. And then the second one of the year, we did the very first show, show of the 1970s, of 19, January 2nd, 1970 to be specific. So for all intents and purposes, it might as well be a late 1969 show. Um, in terms of uh, band lineup, of course, Tom Constant was still in the band, Pigpen, Mickey, Billy, and then the rest of the guys. Um, Bear was recording, so it sounds like a typical Bear recording, which is just absolutely wonderful. And you've got all of the songs. I think he likes it. Um, you get all of the songs that were uh, a big part of the 1969 sound, Dark Star and Alligator. We've got a bonus disc on there. Dark Star and Alligator and all those things, but then you have a lot of the newer songs, the songs that would define 1970 Grateful Dead, the Working Man's Dead material. Uh, and then later on, there'd be all the, the newer American Beauty songs. Uh, really, I mean, not a lot more can be said about those two albums than have already. Remember, next year is the 50th anniversary, too, in 2020. So I think we'll be hearing more about those albums next year. I sure hope so. So we had that. And then the next one we did after that, uh, which, again, we might as well call that a, a late 60s show because it was the first show of 1970. But it was very solidly ensconced in that 1969 sound. Uh, and then after that, we did a, a 1979 show, a late 79, December uh, specifically, and that was the December 3rd show in Chicago. And that, you know, we're really getting into the 80s at that point, because by then Brent had been in the band for more than six months and just sounded wonderful as kind of a, a defining part of that Grateful Dead sound. So. We might as well call that an 80s show, um, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes. Uh, but a late 79, I love that era. You know, you think of shows like Cape Cod and the Pittsburgh December uh, first show, and you think of uh, 1226, 1228. Uh, you think of the Red Rock shows, the Oakland shows, uh, when they brought out a few new songs. Jerry brought out specifically a very cool new guitar, the Tiger, uh, which, <laughs> yes, it was the Tiger, uh, and I know that. Um, not the wolf. Uh, so really, really wonderful show. And then to end our 2019 Dave's Pick series, uh, we went back to the Keith and Donna era, but the one drummer arrangement, the Bill Kreutzmann arrangement, specifically early 1973, a show that has always been very, very high on my radar. Going back to the mid 1980s when I, or well, I probably about 1987. 87, 88, I got a really good soundboard of this show, and I've been a huge fan of it. That's, of course, the uh, Philadelphia Spectrum show, March 24th, 1973. Wonderful stuff. A lot of the new material that was debuted in February, just a month earlier. Uh, not all of it, but quite a bit of it. And then a second set jam that is, I think, like a lot of jams in 1972 and 73 and 74, is really uh, unique, unparalleled in terms of, um, uh, unmatched in terms of its sequence. But it's this incredible, he's gone trucking in this wild jam with some Spanish uh, jam themes in it. And then a dark star, kind of out of nowhere, where they've already done their big second set jam, focusing on this he's gone trucking with this giant jam out of trucking. And then they do this wonderful, very short dark star, fully formed dark star with the melody and the verse, everything but it's very short, it's incredible. I love this Dark Star, I do. It's, a, it's like a, a monster Dark Star kind of compressed into a few minutes, it's wonderful. Beautiful Sing Me Back Home, one of my favorite versions of Here Comes Sunshine. Uh, in terms of the earlier 1973 versions, um, I do find some of the ones in November and December spectacular, but in terms of the first half of the year, this one is my favorite one. I just love this Here Comes Sunshine. It is really driving. Um, Incredibly focused. First set features playing in the band that's very introspective, very meditative, very jazzy. Uh, it's got a wonderful. Oh, bird. Uh, it's got a, a wonderful batch of the uh, February songs from 73, the Road Jimmy, uh, They Love Each Other, songs like that. And it's got a lot of classic dead. It's got Bertha and Beat It On Down the Line and songs like that. Uh, it's also got a wonderful China writer, too. And I gotta say this it's got a magnificent standalone. Stella Blue. You know, in the later years, Stella Blue always came out of a jam. It came out of the other one, it came out of truck, and it came out of whatever. It always came out of something. This is a really unique standalone Stella Blue, and it's beautiful. It's played wonderfully. It's one of those ones that, for the quiet parts, you could hear the pin drop. Uh, I mean, I wasn't at the Spectrum uh, in 1973. Um, I wasn't far, actually. I was in New Jersey at the, when the show took place. I moved to Canada a week later. Um, 
So anyhow, a wonderful batch of music. Now what we have going for 2020, we're opening up with a, sh with, with a show that very nearly was the first one last year, the, the San Bernardino 22677, which we're very happy with that selection. I hope you are. Um, but the show that it was most in conten contention with as the one that very nearly became the first one of 2019 was the show we're starting this year with. Specifically, from DeKalb, Illinois, we've got from October 29th, 1977, the complete show, spectacular show. A show that, when we put out the San Bernardino show, as happy as I was with it, and I was, I wouldn't have kind of put my blessing on it being the first one of the year if I wasn't 100% committed and behind it. But the disappointment with that show was that it wasn't the DeKalb. That I, I, I mean, I'm a patient person, but it meant that we had to wait a year or more for that one. We weren't going to put out another 77 in uh, 2019. So we knew we'd have to wait for 2020. So we figured this would be a good way to start our 2020 releases with the DeKalb show. So all you really need to say to a lot of people is DeKalb 77, 1029. It is truly a magnificent show. Start to finish, it opens up with, in my opinion, one of the greatest versions of Might As Well Ever Played. It's got a Let It Grow, it must have been The Roses, um, it's Loser, it's got so much good music in this set. We're, we'll, we will do a video for it, specifically for the DeKalb show, in a couple of months when it actually goes on sale on its own, outside of the subscriptions. Um, but I just wanted to hype it a little bit. The second set, I mean, it's really, really good. Um, the second set is truly, uh, one of my favorite second sets from 1977, which is saying a lot. Uh, I love 1977 Dead. And I love the fall, I love the October shows uh, into November of, of 77. But this one with its St. Stephen and the Not Fade Away, and in my opinion, one of the greatest versions of Black Peter ever played. And I don't generally put those lofty monikers on songs like the greatest or the best. But when I put on uh, a Black Peter that I really want to blow my mind, this is often, and it's been this way for 30 years, it's been one of my favorite Black Peters since I first heard this show. So uh, you get this incredible Black Peter. It's a really, really great show, great sugar mag. Um, I love this concert a lot. Uh, truly, um, I think a great way to start the year. And it kind of sets us up with very high expectations as we should have for the rest of 2020. So we'll be putting out uh, hopefully three more in 2020 that equal this. The one we've got focused on for number 34 is certainly, I think it's pure. It's a different era, of course, very different era, uh, but um, certainly an A plus level Grateful Dead show that has, I think, widely been considered an A plus show for many many years um, so that's kind of what we're focusing on again more of a formality to have Jeffrey check out the tapes before we do it and then we will make an announcement in uh, a couple of months probably what number 34 will be so anyhow the Dave's pick series the subscriptions you pay one price you get I think a pretty big discount it's either free shipping or it's a less money I, I don't know check the website because they know more than I do uh, I work on the music side of things more than I work on the business side of things but anyhow check the website because you'll see that there's a pretty big price break and I don't know, I think it's about free shipping or something. So you get that. Uh, you don't have to worry that they'll sell out because you're guaranteed to get one if you, if you subscribe. And you get the bonus disc that will come with number 34. And so far in the eight years we've been doing Dave's Picks, the bonus disc has always been related to whatever show the second one of the year was, the second one and the sixth one, and etc. Um, right up to number 34 is what it'll be again. I'm not saying for certain it will be related, but it probably will be. The, the bonus disc we're working on is related to the show we're working on for Dave's Picks uh, 34. So you get that and they show up at your door every three months, four times a year, and you don't have to worry about kind of buying them when they go on sale, which I think relieves a lot of stress. Plus, um, you know, if you don't like the show that we picked, if it's an era you don't like, or maybe for whatever reason, I mean, I'm sure your buddy would like it, um, your wife, your husband, whoever uh, would want it, I'm sure somebody would want it. So uh, that's kind of what I've always felt that somebody said, well, what if I don't like the third one you put out of the fourth one? And I mean, I've not really heard that, that people have been overly disappointed. But if you were, just give it to someone. Someone would love to be gifted one of these. I would. I mean, I would love it. I love free stuff. Um, so anyhow. Dave's Picks 2020 subscriptions are on sale now. The first one of the year will be DeKalb, Illinois, uh, October 29th, 1977. 
a magnificent show. The second show of the last tour of the year. It's a very short tour. It goes October 28th to November 6th in Binghamton, New York. Oh my gosh. It's a really, really, really good tour um, with a lot of good music. DeKalb is obviously a show, uh, I don't know, obviously, I should mention. Um, it's a show that, it ha if we had this show in the vault for many years, um, it probably would have been released quite some time ago. If I'm moving around a lot, uh, I'm trying to get my footing, it's a little slippery, but there's barnacles, a little dry barnacles that are actually not very slippy, so I'm trying to get my feet onto the barnacles. See how that goes. Um, and staying, uh, standing. I, mean, I don't want to slip in the water. Um, so, uh, this is one of the tapes we just got back to the vault a couple of years ago. So, since we got it back, along with 22677 and, and Cornell and things like that, We've wanted to get some of these shows out uh, for quite some time. Now that we've got the tapes back, we've been trying to get them out not as quickly as possible, but making sure that they figure into our release plans. So uh, last year, the first one was from those tapes. Um, the last one, the one um, number uh, 32, the Philly March 73, that's also from those tapes. We'd always had board tapes, but there were kind of better board tapes in that collection. Uh, what else? 79. Somebody honking. Uh, maybe somebody I know. Um, so yeah, those ones were from, uh, and then the Bear, and then the Healy cassette. So yeah, two of those last year. This year so far, one of them, well obviously DeKalb. Uh, the second one, I'm not going to give any hints of what era it is from, but uh, we might get more of those out. But anyhow, this is a really great sounding tape, really. And Jeffrey Norman's been working very hard on this one. Uh, he's finished it because he's working on the next big project that we're working on. We've got some good ideas for 2020 outside of the Dave's Pick series. So we're dedicating a lot of work uh, into those things right now. But anyhow, go to dead.net if you're not already there. I don't know where you watch this. Is it YouTube? Is it, I don't know. Where do you watch this? Um, on your computer. Uh, so go and subscribe if you're inclined. Um, the subscriptions do tend to get shut off after a few weeks, a uh, month or two, I don't know. Uh, check Dead, not Deadnet um, if you haven't subscribed, but we always encourage you to, especially when it's a show this good to start the year. I mean, subscriptions will, will be quite high, I think, and then we'll, which means we'll probably shut them off sooner than later. And then when we do put on the DeKalb show on sale on its own in, I don't know, January maybe, um, it will probably sell out pretty quickly. As you probably know, the Dave's Picks sell out in hours usually. It's, um, it's never more than a few days. It has been as short as an hour or two. Uh, now that we've, we've bumped it up to 22,000, hopefully they will uh, last a little longer, but maybe not. Um, when it's a show this good, you never know. Um, so anyhow, thank you very much. And I mean that. Thank you for uh, sticking around, uh, both in terms of this video, which is probably 20 minutes maybe. Um, but I mean more, you know, the dead have been around now for uh, going into 2020, 55th year. So thank you for that. Thank you for sticking around uh, with the archival releases um, of the last 20, 25 years. And the Dave's Pick series specifically, we're going into the ninth year, which means 2021, we're very excited, will be our 10th uh, year of the Dave's Pick series. Uh, and again, we don't, I don't think, have any uh, end in sight, unless there's something they're not telling me. But I think we're going to keep going for quite some time. As long as you keep being interested, we will keep digging deeper into the vault and finding cool things to build your collection um, of official Grateful Dead releases from the band's archives to your shelf. Um, again, thank you. And I really mean that. I do. Um, thank you. We wouldn't do what we do. I wouldn't do these videos. I wouldn't, we wouldn't be doing the archival releases, the Dave's picks, the box sets without your interest, your feedback, your input. So thank you. Uh, Dave's picks 2020, go to dead.net. Uh, they're available now, uh, the subscriptions, and then they'll be shut off uh, in a while, but uh, you'll get a price break. You'll get an amazing bonus disc, which uh, I mean, we put a lot of work into those bonus discs. They are not mere filler and throwaways. They are really, I think, really good um, 75 minutes of incredible Grateful Dead music. Thank you, and we'll see you here. We're going to be announcing Dave's Picks 32. No, uh, well, 32, I pretty much announced it here. But we'll be putting that on sale pretty soon, too. Um, and then we'll announce 34 in a little bit. Now you know 33, DeKalb, 77. Thank you, and we'll see you around.